the solar atmosphere. That's what that's what solar scientists really live for, right? Right. That, <laughs> yeah. Right. That is the origin. That is where the origin of space weather. Comes, yes. You know, that, that's where it comes from. That's where most of the solar flares and the corona mass ejections, big explosions of particles, originate from. Now, so if there was solar activity. Would we see it right now? Would we be able to see that popping up on the sun? The we, the if there was a coronal if mass ejection leaving the sun, we would we could see we it could there see it. because, in fact, we have seen it in the past. And I'll even show some history later with images that people drew of these coronal mass ejections leaving the sun during a total solar eclipse. Cool. Now, why is it so critical and so important to really get this type of view from the sun's atmosphere from the corona, jo Johnny? You mean like in a total solar eclipse? Yes. There's a, oh, there's a diamond. That's there the diamond go. ring diamond again. Ring. That's amazing. That's from Madras. Um, wow. It is, it is important to do this because uh, we do this kind of eclipses artificially, but we do not do it as perfect as nature does. The moon covers the sun in such a perfect way that we see parts of the corona that we don't usually see. So, Alex, explain that and, and safety too, right? So right now, this was the moment when you see that flash of light, that's the moment when it's time to put your glasses back on or start using your indirect methods because now it's too bright and it could damage your eyes.